Hey everybody, this is going to be a quick two-minute preview to the Flyers game tonight that is, of course, starting in about 20 minutes. In order for a Flyers, obviously, it was not an easy tilt. The last time we played Tampa Bay, we lost 4-3, to three, battled in that entire game. It was a nice effort by the boys the entire game. But obviously, with the injuries, we have Hayes, one of our best defensive forwards behind Coots if not our best defensive center and forward, honestly, potentially behind Coots. And then, <clears throat> obviously, you're missing your big defensive anchor from the right side that's just very good two ends of the puck and a guy that would have been big on the power play and potentially PK in Ryan Ellis. So you're missing two very key guys where the uh, Bolts are missing Kucherov, as we already knew, and now have Braden point out for four to six weeks. So it is going to be helpful Obviously not having those two in the lineup, as they did have Braden Point in, of course, in the first game against us, and he actually potted one of the goals, so he is not going to be in the lineup in this game. But the thing is, Pirlo Wisdom pointed out on his show earlier that sometimes teams with speed, he said a lot of the times usually beat us because they beat us with their speed, they're more effective just getting to places. I feel like it's more the Flyers. They have solid, good defensive players. Oh, and Patty Brown also got injured, I have to add in, who looked like he was going to be a good guy when you want to play the speed teams to take Nate Thompson out, who does his role okay, but doesn't fit into playing against quicker teams, obviously, and then he goes down. So the Flyers have been screwed by injuries early. That is not on players at all. It's just the injury bug happens sometimes by free plays, and it just happens. And just never on the guy that gets injured, obviously, but it's big to point out that the Flyers have had just guys, the domino effect, where they've had big injuries, and then Wade, who would have been a big part of the forward core already, out early in the season. So I feel like, though, for this team, it's more positioning, is what I was going to say, than it is the speed. Sometimes, if you like Kevin Hayes, obviously, in his first season here, we were one of the better defensive teams from the back end to the forward position, and then last year we were doo-doo and just completely kind of fell off, and then this year... The Flyers are, of course, back to being a solid defensive team, and that's without Ryan Ellison. They're really increasing the numbers because Sealer's filled in his role solidly. But I also feel like if that's the case, eventually you've got to call up Frost if Hayes is going to be out for, obviously, again, he's out for an extended stretch. So I think you're going to have to call Morgan eventually with how he's playing in the AHL. And you eventually might want to call up Igor Zamula as well with how he's playing in the AHL and let the youngster play since he can do all the shot blocking, all the hitting and all that that Sealer can do. Might not fight as much as Nick Sealer, but he can do that other stuff plus add more to the other end of the puck as well. You can even put Big Z if you want to since that was his nickname overseas. Obviously, that's more to Chara over here, but we're still going to call him that a bit. You can even put him on the power play so he adds a little bit more dimensions to the game. If you put it in put him in, excuse me, but the Flyers tonight, they're just going to have to be very good positionally, you're going to have to try to, teams that are quicker than you, the best way to beat them is force them to the outside, and try to clog the middle, so every shot on your goaltender is just to the outside, even if you allow, say, 35 shots, keep most of them to the outside, because they're going to get their shots, Tampa, the, 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 even with Braden Point out, their team that has Sorelli, who's a hell of a center and one of the more underrated players in hockey. They have Stamkos, who's back to being Stamkos. You have Joseph, who's playing well. You have Barry Boulay, who they're sure as heck since he's on one of their power play units. They're second, and he, they're sure as heck happy they were able to claim him back because Seattle was dumb enough to put him down. And then you have other players that just step up for you, like the Maroons and Perrys when other guys are out. Those players have been known to do that in the whole course of their career. So this is a team... Let them get their shots if you want them to, but keep them to the outside and be better positionally in the middle with the lack of speed we have now, with some of the guys out and the lack of defense, just prowess with Kevin Hayes and Ellis and even Brown, who's very good on the back check and on the four check, not being in the lineup. Obviously, I said there's going to be a two-minute video. It's been four minutes, but that's what the Flyers are going to need to do. They're going to have to force them to the outside. If they can't force them to the outside, this is going to be a tough game, I believe, unless if Carter Hart, who's perfectly capable of doing it, steals the game, of course, or the Flyers just like they have done in some games, they are able to just get out to a really solid start and pot one good goal early from their net from presence and being able to get one on Vazzy. That, of course, changes everything when you're able to pot an early goal, but that's not easy, and that's easier said than done against a back-to-back -back cup contender like Tampa. So we'll see what happens. If we force them to the outside, I think that's our best chance of success. Because Carter Hart's an absolute beast, but you don't want him to have to try to consistently 
stop Tampa Bay with prime scoring like positions, basically. Have a great saving plan, everybody. This has been a preview to the Flyers and Tampa Bay Lightning. Let's go Flyers. Hopefully we can pull out a difficult win in the first of a back-to-back -back down in Florida. We play the difficult Florida Panthers, who are actually better in statistics than the Lightning thus far this season. So peace out, everybody, and stay safe.